Hey folks, welcome back to Game of Garbage. We'll take a look at games, chat about the gaming news in the industry, and of course, stream from for fun. Today we're continuing on with Tomb Raider 3, just going through this playthrough. If you're interested, we have the playthroughs of number 1 and 2 as a playlist on our YouTube channel at Gaming Garbage 22. And yeah, we're uh, starting Nevada. We're finally done with the jungle, thank goodness. But um, from what I've seen with Dexter's channel, it only gets worse from here, so... Uh, not overly excited... But, uh, but yeah, it will be quite the accomplishment to actually finish this game as an old man, so. Audio sounds perfect. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah, I've already saved almost a hundred times to, uh, to try to make it. Oh, that was weird. Come on back. No, they ain't gonna come back. Oh yeah, the snakes are gonna be great, man. Yeah, the snakes are even smaller in this one. Yep, good old rattlesnakes. Boy, they look pretty good. Oh, wow. What a difference. Yeah, those rattlesnakes look amazing. Oop. Oh, oh my. Uh, Laura. Oh my goodness. There's a way to get up there, though. How do you get up there? This is the way. No, oh, maybe... Uh, Maybe you're not supposed to go up that way? <laughs> Definitely a way up there, though. <laughs> okay, well, let's move on. We'll maybe come back to that, or maybe we'll figure it out or something, which would be great. Oop. Is this pretty much it? Well I, well, I guess I have to figure it out now. I don't have a choice. Yeah, I don't think that... Yeah, man, that's... That's up there, though. No. Way too low. Oh no, Laura. Oh man. They start you off with a good challenge right off the bat. <laughs> I 
Well, that's the only thing I can see, is that it's got to be right here somewhere. This has got to be it. Oh my goodness, I ain't gonna make that. I mean, I've been out here, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, 20 minutes. I've gotten nowhere. Oh my word. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we're just gonna edit that out. Big time. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it looks so smooth I couldn't even see it. In the old graphics I could. Oh. Oh, oh man, this game, dude. I should have looked is what I should have done. But yeah, look how seamless this is. Like, I can barely tell that's even there. There's a little dark wedge on the right corner, but that's it. In the older graphics, you can actually tell there's kind of a difference there. Like a better, more clear difference. Yeah, I already went all the way down here, basically, and was like, yeah, I don't see anything. If I had turned to the right, I would have seen it, but I didn't. Yeah, that is crazy. This shows you how, how good the graphics are. They had to be creative with hiding stuff in the 90s and older games, because, again, the graphics, you could tell, right? Yeah, it's, it's incredible. Ooh, big black box. Are we in Mecca? Yeah, what the heck is this? We can't jump on it. <laughs> yeah, it's just a random box. Like the top of an elevator shaft, maybe. Oh! <laughs> that is legit. That's kind of cool. Let me go see if I can get that secret. Because, yeah, I know it's over there. Yeah, that's an F-17 Nighthawk, folks. Pretty old plane, but uh, I'm sure we still use it today. Pretty freaking top-notch. I don't think I can get there that way. Oh, frick. Did I get hit? I think I made it. Yeah, I gotta jump over there. Yeah, that's okay. I'm good. Can I make that? It's kind of steep. Don't you think? Yeah, no damage. Nice. Uh, 
Okay. Well, it's not a secret. Oh, man. Please don't be stuck again. Please, dude. Yeah, okay. Now what? Because that's too high to jump up, I think. Hey, did I miss... Like, what else? What else did I miss here? Um... Oh, man. Nope. Gah. So I can't land on that. Not at all. Oh my word, yeah, she just barely, just barely makes that. Is there a hole? There is a hole. Water. Perfect. Oh, good grief. <laughs> yeah, where the heck am I going? And there's two there's two different paths to go here. Yeah, like this looks crazy. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Oh, no. I was going to say, man, I should be able to do that. Huh. Can I even jump that? <laughs> I really don't know. I don't know if I can jump that. That looks crazy. So far, every place I've been, we don't have a single secret. Not one. I'm not sure if I can make it. I don't think I can make that. Yeah, now. Ooh.
Oh my word. Well, that's the end of that stop. Well, what else is down there? I'm sure I'm missing stuff. I've got, I've got to be. Is yeah, this is, this is wild, folks. Oh, once I drop down, I can't, uh... <sighs> That's gonna be frustrating. I mean, I am... Can't get over anymore. What? Did the game literally just screw me? I can't even get there. What? Are you kidding? I'm not supposed to go this way. Gosh, mother freaking dang it. Plenty of stuff in the water. Dude, yeah, this level is something else. Man, look at all this stuff in the water. What the heck's going on? Something on the other side of the waterfall? Yeah, that's crazy. Now, are you serious? Maybe I gotta go for this one. Still, it seems like it's too far, though. That's out there. Hey viewer, welcome. Okay, well I got some stuff, but again, how do I... Man, how do I get out of here? And I don't think that helps at all. Almost looks worse. <sighs> and we can get up there. How are we supposed to get up there?
Oh my word. Oh, the ladder's right there. Did you see it? Can I jump that? I don't know if I can jump that. Dude, yeah, this is wild. Yeah, boy, it's certainly easier to see that in the older graphics, let me tell ya. We'll see what's up there in just a second. I don't think I came this way. I don't think I did. I think I started up higher. Oh, no, yeah, this is actually where I spat out. Okay. And then I skipped that up there. Whatever, whatever that is. But I can monkey bar across too, so which way should I go? Cause maybe there's... I don't know, multiple ways to, uh, to get up there? Give or take? Cause yeah, I really don't necessarily want to miss anything. Oh, come on, you can make that. Laura. It's gotta be perfect. Gotta be perfect. That's something that we've been seeing quite a bit in Tomb Raider 3 so far compared to the others, is that stuff has to be perfect. The jumps, the precision, you know, making sure you're on the particular edge of the platform and all of this stuff. Like, it's gotta be absolutely perfect, otherwise you're just gonna miss. It's just crazy. <clears throat> yeah, it's... it's it feels insane. It does. And then, too, I'd say when you miss the jumps, it's a heck of a lot more unforgiving. Uh, the game has no love for you. Oh my gosh! See what I mean? Oh man, did I save? Let's not save that. Let's load. That'd be great. Yeah, okay, well, saving myself a little bit of time at least. But still, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You gotta be perfect, your movements, and then you'll hit little glitches like that. And the game's just like, man, sorry. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I would be surprised uh, if the majority of people that played Tomb Raider 3 actually beat the game so far, because it's just a whole new level. Like, Tomb Raider 1, Tomb Raider 2 is definitely more challenging, but there's more combat involved. Okay, we get, like, some different weapons and stuff, and the levels are definitely a little more difficult, too. But then when we get to 3, it's just a whole new game, baby. Oh my... <sighs> Freaking Laura, bro! Yeah, it's a whole new game. The precision's got to be perfect. The enemies are harder. They're put in more areas that are tougher to see. Uh, there's more traps like the snakes and stuff. Dude, that's so ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. I hate the snakes in this game. Uh, they're so hard to, to see. And then, too, there's a, a lot of the um, level design so far. Even though I think it's pretty good. Um, and it is realistic for their environment so far, like with the jungle and the Nevada desert, I can tell I'm playing a totally different level. And um, it's, just, it's just way more challenging. I was going to say, Laura, man, you better hold on to that, please. <laughs> 
And the puzzles, too, so far. Puzzles are more challenging. I mean, good grief. It just... You guys didn't see it, but it took me 16 minutes. Or 20 minutes, actually. Laura. <laughs> don't, do, don't do that again, please. I think I just went deaf. What about you guys? I feel deaf. Absolutely. Can I get over there? Okay. We are going to save. We finally made it. Oh, oh, you piece of trash, dude. Oh, man. Seriously. Oh, wrong button. Fine, let me do a running jump. Except it won't let me. Oh my gosh! What? <laughs> this game is unbelievable, man. Yeah, this game is so bad. Dude, yeah, that's, uh... That's flipping crazy. I don't care who you are. Oh my word, Laura! <laughs> maybe, maybe you're not supposed to go this way. I'm trying. If, yeah, maybe you're not supposed to go this way. The game really hates me. I'm not making this easy at all. Oh, I could probably... Well, then... Well, yeah, where's that going to put me? Down there? I can't just jump over? I'd love to jump over. I think it'd be great. Let's see if we can outsmart this game, huh? Probably not. And I... <laughs> Dude, they're making it brutal. They're literally making it brutal, man. Yeah! Get better. <laughs> Absolutely. Dude, that jump is insane. I really don't want to do that again. Yeah, we're going to save. We're going to save a lot. We'll probably save, you know, I'm guessing 500 times. In this game. Last one. Tomb Raider 2 was... 377, I think? Ooh. What's the boulder for? I can't even see that in there. Dude, that's... Uh, that's ridiculous. Is it gonna roll? What's it doing? Let's see, I gotta pop this. Okay. So I need a special something or other to actually get that. Can I jump that? Oh, I can get down there. Oh my word, man. Look at all this. There's one med pack. And what's on the other side here? Just looks... Yeah, just looks like a slippery slope to me, baby. Looks horrible. Massive thing at TNT. Look at that. It's huge. Hey, here's a question. How much power... So how much weight and how much power does a block of pure TNT have? And what we'll do is we'll do uh, the first that we had, which was oh, not... Um, arsenic. God, I'm trying to think of something else. Arsenic's like a poison or whatever. But anyway, I know what I'm trying to say. And then the other one is we'll actually do it a block of plastic explosive C4. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll do that as a short. Because I'm actually quite curious. Can I even see, bro? The heck's moving? Is it glycol? No, it's not glycol. Man, what is that? It's the, uh... One of the first explosives we had. Nitroglycerin, that's it. Yeah, glycol and an arsenic. Good grief. Yeah, nitroglycerin. 
Oh, am I stuck down here? Oh, come on, game, dude. Are you out of your mind? Okay, good. Yeah, nitroglycerin. Incredibly unstable. Very dangerous to handle. Uh, in humid and warm environments, it would actually sweat. And it would sweat nitroglycerin. TNT would. Which, <laughs> big deal. Uh, you do uh, you do not want that. Yeah, even just waving it around and stuff. Boom. Yeah, crazy stuff. Where am I even going? Just trusting it's there. Don't know if I should, but I did. Yeah, could you flip and imagine this on crystals and crap? Oh man, it'd be so awful. What? Can I just jump that? Mm. I don't know. I'm not sure. I want to say yes. I'm guessing we can't go in the water, so... Don't even want to try, honestly. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm going to love this. Yep. Uh. Come on. I'm stuck. I don't even think I can move, really. Can I get air? Oh, my word. Video game! What the frick? Yeah, just keep working our way up, huh? Well, and what what's that even for over there? Probably nothing. Maybe just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him at all. Not in this game. I will say what's really cool about this level is, like, you keep seeing all of this man-made stuff. Every so often, there's like little, what would you call it? Little hints that you're not just in the desert, you know? And they don't tell you what Nevada is. You know by the screen that there's some, that there's something going on, right? Because you see a person in the screen art at the beginning. Ah, you mother truck, bro. If you die, you piece of trash. <clears throat> But yeah, it's just cool. Like, they use the music, they use the, uh, the areas and stuff, and what's coming for me? I don't know. Just a little worried about that. 
Oh my word, there's a person. Well, Jim Bobsby is dead. So sad. Who the heck is this guy? The skull with the flame on it? Like he's a biker gang or something. Dude, what? And his body just disappears like magic. Okay. Whatever. It's a little weird. So let's see. We got... This up here. I don't even really know where I'm going. <coughs> it's all new to me. Dude, what in the world, man? The heck is all this? Oh, so I gotta get the flow going for something. I'm I'm assuming. Like what? Yeah, I see. I see nothing up here. Absolutely zero. actually go on this one. Oh, we got a lever. I mean, you can barely see that. Well, I don't want to go too far. It's going to be bad for my health. <laughs> man, just the amount of traps in this game, man, it's just... <coughs> it makes you, uh... Yeah, if you think about it too... Oh, there's another door there. Okay. Yeah, it makes you go crazy if you think about it too much. Seriously. Uh, just the... Yeah, here's another one. All the level design and stuff that they've done in this game uh, is just wild. And you get... You really get the taste for that in, um... In what do you call it? The jungle. And it's the first place that you start. But yeah, this is just freaking wild. Oh, we got another one. Oh my gosh. Dude, what? Turn around, Laura. I know it's tough. Probably should have gone for some air. I'm assuming. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Now where are we? Where? <laughs> are we in the dam somewhere? And, well, frick. Doesn't even do anything. Not yet. Okay, well. I'll have to remember this place. So I can come back. But exactly what that's for? I don't know. Really not sure what that's for at all. 
It's just kind of there. Let's see, did we check this far side? I think, yeah, we, that's how we discovered the lever. <coughs> Oh man, you almost got me. Hate him. Hate him. Those spiders would be worse for me. But, uh, yeah, snakes are not that enjoyable. So, yeah, we got a dam, we got a big water wheel. Nope, go away. See, I gotta divert water, right? And that's gonna take me all the way down into wherever. <laughs> hmm. Well, where would be the, uh, the controls for all this? I mean, I have a dead end in the dam. Looks like you can get in there, though. There's some platforms. Well, let's keep exploring. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out something. <laughs> yeah, this is wild. I don't remember anything. I don't think I made it this far. I, I don't think I made it past the jungle when I tried it. Oh anyway, yeah, we have some random biker dude here. Oh, you mother trucker, dude. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, this... Oh, this game. Ooh, that's painful. That sucks. Yeah, okay. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, please. Okay. Okay, so I can remember what I got. There's a snake over here. Kill that. There's also a dude over here. Which I really think the only reason they put him over here was to uh, just show you the ladder. I think that's really the only thing. We already know what's down there. Can't do much there just yet. Oh, what? Dude, I made that. I made that, you mother hubbard. I freaking made that. Are you serious? Oh my word, this game. I don't think they're going to let me go that way. Oh my word, dude, no. That's just... Oh, what? That kind of ticks me off. You can make it up there, but they don't let you get up there. That's ridiculous. That's pretty... pretty flippin' dumb. Okay. So I can't go that way. So yeah, the only really option that I have is I also had this area over here. Let's see where it goes. Oh 
Oh, man. Okay. So we got a chain mechanism here. Huge. Could you imagine boring that? Oh, my goodness. And there's something on top of that, whatever this is. Or maybe this is the elevator. Yeah, I wonder if this is actually kind of where, like, the elevator shaft is. I would bet it is. Oh, there's there's a ladder. Perfect, right there. What am I supposed to be doing? Can't move any of this. Dude, what? Uh. Well, and it stops right there. Well, what's the point of going down here? Yeah, am I missing something? definitely need that. That looks like the key for the detonation box. If I had to guess. But yeah, what I'm supposed to do in here, like, I didn't see anything. Maybe... There's another lever somewhere. Another weird lever. I I don't know. But I'm guessing part of that opens up or comes up or something, but again, I don't know where the mechanism is to uh to do that. Dude, what Okay, well, keep exploring. So yeah, I gotta find the mechanism um, to get stuff moving. See, so yeah, we'll go back up here. Poke around, see if we can find anything. <coughs> you know, I actually watched part of this with Dexter playing, but, like, I really wasn't watching because I was at work. But I was listening to it. Um... But yeah, listening to his playthrough really didn't help me very much. <laughs> Can I go down there? Oh, it looks like death. No thanks. Well, maybe it's not. There they are. I'm waiting for them to show up. What a pain.
All right, let's poke around. So I ended up doing a short video on Starfield. Um, the reason I'm bringing it up is because of how it relates to this. How it relates to this game. Because uh, <clears throat> the wonderful thing that we have in these Tomb Raider games is that there's something interesting happening in the underlying story. And there's continuity there. It's not perfect. You know, like it's a 90s game. But like it's it's pretty good and we're intrigued with what we're seeing like even just how they're doing this level you know they're showing you hey it's just desert um and then you start seeing some man-made things and you see more man-made things and you're like okay and then you see the dam and it's like okay this is a big operation like there's something big going on here um and you don't really know the whole story um but it's oh yeah shoot oh go for air baby freaking go for it yeah, I missed it. It's right back there. Ooh, it's going to be close. Push it, Laura. Oh, we should be okay. Just barely. Let her catch her breath. Yeah, the thing that this game does really well that Starfield doesn't, in my opinion, is that there's a story, there's something interesting, there's something going on, and they show and drop little hints about that. With Starfield... You're already finding out what happened. You're discovering what already happened. And there's really not much going on in the underlying story. With a lot of these games like Resident Evil or like the Tomb Raider series or Metal Gear Solid, you know that there's stuff going on. And you're trying to, you know, you're trying to discover exactly what it is. And you're kind of along for the ride. But with Starfield, it's just kind of like an exploration game. And it's pretty, I think I did see it down there. And unfortunately, that's what makes it boring. It's not very compelling. I'm not really incentivized to uh, to really discover more to you know after a certain point. Um, and that's what's frustrating about the game for me. Even the older Bethesda games, they're more compelling because there's stuff going on. There's action happening in the story. Oh, sweet. But yeah, the, uh, I'll link my little video down below if you're interested in, in listening to it. Um, but yeah, I think it's really pertinent to what's going on, and too, just with what's going on in the gaming industry as a whole. Again, it's like they're not focusing on the story. They're not making it compelling. Oh. Oh, no, I gotta run all the way back. That's nice. Well, that's at least a nice way to get out of here. Yeah, it's helpful. Okie dokie. Is there something on the other side, by chance? Oh, just, it's closed off. Yeah, developers need to understand that they... Oh, yeah, it is open. Nice. Developers need to understand that they need to make a compelling story. Because then the game... It's okay that the game's buggy. It's okay that the game is short. I mean, I think of Space Marine 2, for example, is actually fairly compelling because of what's going on, what's happening. And it's interesting, you know, and people want to play it. Same with Baldur's Gate 3. That's a really good one. When you get it down perfect, you get Baldur's Gate 3 and Elden Ring. Man, those are like flipping notch knob. Top notch games. Pretty incredible. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> so, yeah, we got that moving so we can move the elevator. And yeah, well, ooh. -hoo.
Another one of them. Well, how, what? Okay, what? How am I supposed to get that? Oh, here we go. It's gonna be like, what the crap? So yeah, here's the detonator key. Perfect. Is there a way to get up there, though? Is there really nothing for me to stand on? Because I feel like there's other gear up there, somehow. <coughs> and I can't use the ladder. Because it's blocked off. Yeah, what's the whole point of that ladder? I don't know. Nope, too high. Hmm. Yeah, it's just a little too short. Maybe you can't get up there, but it looks like you should, though. Okay. Well, let's go, uh... Kaboom. Uh, let's go blow this up. It's wonderful. Okay. Did I save it all? I don't remember if I did. <laughs> we'll save just for fun, because this flipping game, man. Oh, that's kind of a crappy jump, seriously. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Oh, yeah. Dude, what the muffin? This is stupid. And I got that piece of garbage, so let me get as low as I can. And jump. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Just barely. Okay, then we'll jump for that piece over there. Oh, brick! <clears throat> well, at least I'm not losing any health or nothing. That's good. Still, this sucks, though. Okay. Well, I've already done this before. <clears throat> this will be great. Woohoo! She almost didn't make that. What's even the point of going over there? Let's see, the TNT box is over there, right? I think. Should be. Well, maybe I can actually get over there from here. Let's try it. Seriously, Laura? You can't 
like transfer to the ceiling here? Are you are you actually serious? Dude. Okay, got to go the long way. <laughs> it's getting scary. I feel like we're almost done. I feel like we're close. I mean, we've opened up the channel. We got the elevator going. We've gone through the dam. We've gone through this mother freaking canyon. I mean, I don't feel like there's a lot left. <laughs> no secrets. Yeah, I'm not I'm not surprised. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this place is crazy. I probably won't be getting many. Even Danny was making a comment, uh, I think while he was going through London, which we'll go there next after Nevada. Oh yeah, I can't wait. Uh, he was even saying just how, like he didn't really care about the secrets because the levels just got so crazy difficult. So, and yeah, I don't blame him either. I mean, <clears throat> the game's brutal. Yeah, the game's absolutely brutal. And, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Got to freaking try something, man. It's, it's, it's wild. Okay, here we go. Got to get out of the way of that rock. Yeah, you piece of trash. Anything down here? Probably not. No, nope. just a dark hole. Perfect. All right, let's see how all this is messed up. Ooh. Now, why, too, would there just be a big random piece of, uh... You know what I mean? Just a big random piece of TNT in the ground. A as if, like... Yeah, that's a... That's our secret entrance. <laughs> to get in. <laughs> the, where do you think we're going, by the way, folks? What do you think we're up to? Is there even anything up there? Well, maybe. I might be able to get up there. Let's try it. Can we? Can we get up there? Come on. I guess not. Frick me, I guess. Okay. Really? Surely I can. Come on. Surely. There's got to be a way to get up there. Like, really? Looks like I can fit in there. I would be pretty curious. But I can't uh I can't get up there without sliding. So that's annoying. Dude, what? Um Maybe I can get on that little piece. But where is this even all going? Up up there, I guess? But you almost can't even see that. Okay. Don't wish me luck. Very nice. Here we go. This is kind of big. Uh huh. Okay, we're like halfway through this level now. What are we at? Like an hour? <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> okay. Is there a snake nearby?
Man, keeping them in and keeping them out. That's crazy. And the fence is electrified. Well, that don't look good. How the frick am I going to be able to come back? Okay, did I save? I can't remember. Because, yeah, this is going to be... <laughs> this is going to be awful. Oh, wow. Okay, it's not slipped like I thought. Oh, but that's sloped. Okay. You think with some place like this, you hear gunfire outside somewhere? Because some lady is killing snakes? You would think you would freaking, uh have people come running out and be like, what's going on? We're going to investigate. Photography prohibited. Restricted area. What's that say? Hold on, folks. I'm curious. It is unlawful to enter this area without permission of the installation commander. This is Section 21, International Security Act of 1950, 50 U.S.C. 797. While on this installation, all personnel and property under their control are subject to search. Use of deadly force authorized. I feel like that's actually the legit code that's posted. Probably in Nevada. <clears throat> and yeah, when you have a, um, a facility that has secrets or... Um, or has restricted access, the, uh, yeah, the installation commander is basically the one that decides who gets in and who stays out. Yeah, and that's all electrified. I can't even touch it. Not even close. <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing out here. Oh, do they want you to try to jump it and electrocute you? <laughs> I bet that's what it is. I bet they literally just put this in here to screw with you. I have no doubt. I have no flippin' doubt. Yeah. <laughs> you mother... You mother efforts, dude. Yeah, those devs are hilarious. I'm serious. <clears throat> yeah, literally just put that in there so you could fry. <laughs> That's so awful. Alright, let's explore in here. Oop. Ooh. Oh yeah, looks safe enough. Well, let's go up. I'm curious. Maybe we'll finally find a secret. You know? Because, Rick, we haven't... seen one of those in... ever. Ooh, ooh. We got water. All right, we got a lever right there. We got another channel. We got a couple levers. Oh, gravy. Okay, so which lever do I have to pull first? Probably the one in the back. I don't know. That looks pretty involved. I may not be able to come back. We'll explore the bottom first. I'm actually really curious what that's going to be. Oh. 
Oh, well, we're just on the other side now. Trying to punch me? Are you guys insane? So yeah, there's a few of them that are getting out. Why a whole biker gang, though? You really think they decided to drive in the Nevada desert with really barely any roads or anything on just street bikes? Really? It's a little off. Just a little bit. Oh, no. Yeah, what the heck is this? Do I even need to be in here? I can't even get up there. Uh. Hmm. So there's got to be something that comes out on the other side, I guess? Yeah, because I can't get all the way over. Okay. <coughs> so this has to be an exit for something. But where else is that also supposed to go? Like... Dude, what? Maybe that's a door over there, too? But then again, how do I get up there? Oh, come on, Laura. Yeah, we'll probably have to explore the water. Because, yeah, I don't have any headroom to jump. So... Oh, can I move this? No. I was hoping, because it was discolored. Yeah, I don't know. That is just kind of, uh... Kind of weird. Okay. Oh yeah, oops, I wanted to go back up. Pull this one first. Yeah, where the frick is that? <laughs> I don't even know. Dude, what? What the heck did that do? Serious? All right, get off the door. Okay. See, yeah, I don't know. There's some kind of a 
Frick if I know, man. I'm not even sure where that was. It's tucked away somewhere. Oh yeah, here we go. Hey, that's full of water now. I gotta run all the way back over. This is gone now. How interesting. And I went the wrong way. Can't even see in here now. I got a question for you. How did this even fill up with water? And why would the control be clear on the other side of the canyon wall? Oh, it opened that. Interesting. Does this do anything? No. Oh, are you serious? What? Okay. Okay, what's the point of all this? I just went in a big circle. Did, did you know, nothing. Dude, what? What the heck was the point of that? Maybe I gotta pull that lever again. Because it didn't seem to do anything, but it's closed because it doesn't show you. Maybe it's over there, up on that ledge now that I can reach with with water. Maybe it's timed. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well. Not bad. All right, we're in now. This is crazy. So loud. Uh. 
Oh my gosh. Well, uh, that doesn't work. They're just, yeah, so the trigger point is to get past this little line right here, probably. Yeah, watch. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, where the frick are we? I gotta get a key card. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Yeah, Area 51, something about a special rock, a UFO, and a hangar. And then that quote unquote face was a doctored face of a mountain on Mars. That picture was right there. So yeah, it was, uh, you know, a hoax. Aliens. Interesting. Oh, cool. Do we actually have a real map of Area 51? I think that is. Dude, because, yeah, we have the two airstrips. That is really cool. I think that's actually a picture of Area 51. That's awesome. You know, on Google Maps, that used to be blocked out. And some kind of research facility in this picture, I guess? Or no. This, this is showing something else. Another aerial of the facility. <laughs> How cool! Dude, that's amazing that's even in there. That's so awesome. Okay, what am I supposed to do in here? Okay, so I need a key card so I can open this, I guess. Get the guy, that'll give me something, so I gotta find the key card. So he's not gonna be in there. Yeah, there's nothing over here. I can't touch anything. I got an ATV. Well, they were trying. Give him credit for that. Did he actually drop something? I am impressed. He's actually able to snag something. Bravo. Oh, this would have been a perfect spot to hide something. They didn't do that. What else is over here? God, I can barely even see the floor. I'm not missing anything, am I? Yeah, I don't I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, I was just gonna say, man, this is crazy. Anything else up here? No. What about over here? No. Okay. Yeah, it looks like just the ATV. I don't think there's anything up there either. I got the ATV and I'm supposed to like drive drive it because yeah I can't move any of this yeah that's the way I came in okay Well, I, I do got a ramp here. 
Maybe I can drive up that? I think that's what Dexter did, actually. Holy mother. <laughs> I don't think I need to hurt myself. Oh, I didn't save this. Or no, I did. Okay. This thing is one squirrely mother, dude. Okay. Is that the key card? Oh my word, that thing is massive, dude. What the frick is that? <laughs> it's insane. It is so freaking big. Oh, dang, did I mess that up? I think I did. Oh, no. I can jump on this. Yeah, I can get back up there. If I need to. I don't think I do, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, boy, this key card is like a 3 by a, uh, a 3 by 5 foot card like flag even just about hanging off the side of your house it's so huge and he didn't have anything on him kill the fence thank you very much All is well. Good deal. So now I can pull this. Oh, hey! Yeah, I'm gonna need my ATV back. I'm gonna need to jump that ramp. On the other side of the, uh... On the other side of the canyon wall. We might actually beat this under two hours, folks. I'm going to be so proud of me. <clears throat> Seriously, yeah, this would be, uh, be incredible. Yeah, it's pretty finicky right there. Alright, we're pretty close. I'm going to be careful with this one. Nice! That would be a brutal crash. <laughs> and I'd be surprised the ATV isn't on fire. You crazy geek freak. What kind of stunt is that to pull? I'm a geek, huh? She don't look much like one of them. Maybe she's an eco terrorist or something. And they wear hot pants, huh? Well, there we have it. Hour and fifteen minutes. That's really freaking good for me. That's amazing. None of the secrets. What a bummer. 24 kills. But yeah, that was fun. Ha <laughs> ha. Awesome. Well, hey, it's going to get worse from here. Uh, man, believe me.
just seeing some of the stuff Dexter, Dexter went through or just hearing some of the stuff was just ridiculous. So thanks for tuning in, folks. You can always follow me at GamingGarbage22 over at YouTube. Don't forget also Discord, Twitter X, and also on Twitch. Twitch, you can see it there first. And then link in the description below. I do have that video on what Starfield is really missing um, that I think would drastically change the game if you're interested. So with that, folks, hopefully you guys have a good one. Actually, we'll start the next level, and I'll save. I'll do that. We'll leave it right there. We'll see you guys next time.